to Ecom 101 Podcast. Um, me, your host, Joey. With me is Robin. We talk about all things Ecom, from buying and selling to living an Ecom life 24-7. We're here to uh, educate and inform you on what's going on in the world. Class is in nice. session. Nice. Today's special episode, which I think everybody <laughs> else is doing, is Fall Seller Update. So you right. hear it for the 16,000th time, but with a different perspective. Just a little bit of perspective, different perspective. I'm going to drive home the finance part of it today. And yes. Rob is going to drive home the seller side of things. <laughs> yes. I was like, there was a huge pause. I know. <laughs> Well, because we've all been on Facebook and Instagram and eBay Live and all that, and there have been some long pauses <laughs> today. I, I apologize for the early coffee talk. I have a four-shot mocha that I've been drinking, and it's Ooh, just nice. driving me up. Joey, getting me insane. I right have now. two shots in here. No, it's, it's it's a standard thing. They go, it's four shots. Is that okay? I'm like, yeah, four four shots is great. Oh, we have a, hey, oh, that's a, a Sunday fun day. I like What's that. Up? How's it going? Hello. Oh, Sing I like her name. Sunday fun day. I like that. I like Sundays. Me too. Little cream and cherry on top. It's nuts. Oh my gosh. And oh my gosh. You you get me on a Sunday and I'm good to go. Yeah. That's always a good day. I can eat a well, Sunday. Well, welcome Sunday, Sunday fun day, Pamela. Mm -hmm. Love that. Thanks for joining us. Yeah. So basically, we're gonna start off. I usually have a script that I read, and I've been trying to memorize it, and I don't have it in front of me, and I haven't Man. memorized it, which is why it's a little different beginning. But basically, what we're gonna to do today is we're gonna do our normal like catch up with everybody, see how we're doing, back right. and forth, take some questions from the audience, make sure you, you read the description below, like and subscribe, hit the notification bell. We're also on Instagram. Uh, Robin's got one. I got one. The show's got one, and we have a website. Ecom101podcast.com, which will give you all the same information. And also have our newest video up on there at some point. And if you guys could, it'd be really awesome if you can get into iTunes and leave us a review or a rating on our iTunes podcast. So basically the way it works on iTunes and all the other podcast shows, it's basically the audio version of our live show. So if you missed the live right. show and you don't want to see us, or for some reason you don't <laughs> want to see my face on, the, on your screen, you just want to listen to it, go right ahead. Perfect. So just download it there too. Listen there. It's awesome. But uh, yeah, just give us a little thumbs up over there on the rating. would be great. And yeah, if you like what you hear, subscribe and click the notification bell. So when we go live, you are with us. So yes, with yes. that being said, before we get into our crux or meat and potatoes, as they say, which is the yes. false seller update. Um, Robin, how you been? How are your sales this week? What's been going on? I've been really good. Okay, so the Labor Day weekend, um, really good sales for Green Eyed Raven. That's my store. Uh, some really fun stuff. So like a mix of stuff. Uh, mm. Vintage hard goods. So I had some glass. Oh, I sold some a really fun thing. You know, the Griswold's uh, glass mugs when they do the, hey, Jane. The, uh, the little moose thing? Knock. Yes. Yes. So I found them for like a pair for $1.19. And oh, sold them for awesome. like thirty five dollars. Like okay, all That's day long. Awesome. Yeah, and then I sold some figurines that uh, was interesting. I was going to show how to pack, but somehow I got so involved in trying to find boxes, you know, because I'm really trying to work on mm -hmm. making things smaller because it's expensive now on shipping. So I was trying to get the best. Anyway. Long story short, I had a shipping fail. I didn't make my video, but that's okay. Lots of stuff, but. On the note of selling, is everybody ready for football? Because it's happening, mm -hmm. and I am selling stuff. So I just sold an awesome Chicago Bears uh, jersey that Jimmy Boy bought for like I think two fifty or three fifty, and we sold it for sixty five bucks. Nice. So yeah, it was nice. It, it was yeah. nice. It was all sewn. It was really mm -hmm. nice. So yeah, yeah, we just had one of those get out of our store too. One of those throwback ones. Oh, nice. Yeah, yeah, yeah. The Chargers football season's back. You're right. It's Chargers yep. thing that sold. Uh huh. So you guys, if you're listening, take take some advice from us. Get your football mm -hmm. stuff up. Anything that has NFL, AFL stuff on it, get it up. I mean, yeah, uh, for sure. Fo football fans are crazy. I mean, I, I mean in a good way because I'm no, kind of no. crazy too. You know what's crazy too, Robin? College, <laughs> college, college football, oh, college sports, college yes. is back. We yes. just sold this bad boy today. I'll show it on camera. This is going out. This is a University of Michigan. Oh, yeah. Right? Dude, that rocks. Wait. Let's see if I can do it here. Hold on. Wait. Uh, I, you know, I turned it off. 
Oh, probably for shipping. Batteries out. Turn yeah. it off for shipping, but it actually like um, does all this stuff where it moves around and uh, sits and stands awesome. and cheers and sh shoots the uh, theme song and stuff. So nice. College nice. is back. People are buying stuff. Go yes, for it. and you're and you're right. Uh, Sunday Fun Day, like uh, Halloween is selling because Ooh, right. I have a lot up. of watchers on Halloween stuff and in my store, and I just mm -hmm. sold two Halloween scrubs. So you betcha. You betcha. And yes. guess what Halloween else is, is around? Selling. Is Q4 is literally knocking on our doors. Yes. It is knocking. So I hope you guys are prepping and listing and getting all the good stuff up. And, uh, you know, just get ready for success because it's. I think this year it's going to be really epic for a lot of us for Q4. Starting early. Yep. I mean, we sure. had no. Oh, we, look yeah. for you! Yeah. Oh, Sweet. Pamela, good for you. Costumes. You know what? Uh, I did costumes last year. I haven't gotten into them this year, so good for you. Yeah. And the best way to do that. Another piece of advice on tips on costumes. After the season, go get your costumes and then piece them out. Meaning that if you see a Peter Pan in one section and you go to another Goodwill and there's wings over there or whatever, then put them together for next year's Halloween. Cause that's what I did the year before, and it really did work. I mean, I paid like yeah. fifty cents for some things. It was crazy. I can, I can imagine too that possibly after Halloween, especially if you get some of these popular characters, or you just mm -hmm. think outside the box a little bit. There's school plays that run all year round that may need costumes for school plays, parts and pieces, like you said, wing, wings for fairies or Peter right. Pan costume. For oh, the play and cosplay. And that's pretty cosplay's cool. Cosplay's huge. Comic oh, yeah, yeah, and yeah. cosplay. Yeah. So either way, you can't lose. So. That is true. That is true. That's awesome. Yeah. Yeah, so yeah, yeah so really good. Yeah, and then I had some tiki events. So if you guys don't know, I'm a total tiki girl. And uh, Saturday was the 75th anniversary of the Mai Tai. Mm, so we had a huge thing over at Trader Vic's with Eve over there, who's the, I think it's the great granddaughter of Trader Vic himself. Mm. And so we all got gussied up in our vintage wear and lots of hair and. It, we looked amazing. As a group, we always look very colorful. We look like a big rainbow. <laughs> and we had amazing drinks. If you guys have never been to Trader Vic's in Emeryville, I highly suggest it. The drinks are amazing. The uh, the ambiance is just amazing. And the history itself, if you're kind of a history buff like I am, is amazing. So, nice. yeah, so we had some fun times. And they had a great band called the Tikiaki Orchestra. So it's kind of a slash surfer band, um, you know, uh, exotica. I mean, it's just amazing. So... Yeah. Say that ten times fast. I know, right? Tiki Yaki. Yeah, okay. <laughs> so what about you? What about you and Patina? Joey, what did you guys do this weekend? Yeah, so we basically just hung out. We went um busy weekend because we have our other job that we do. So it's a busy weekend right. when the holidays come around. And oh, I got a chance to do some sourcing on Labor Day. Mm. And it turns out it was funny. I, I thought for some reason it was just a Labor Day sale at Goodwill, like just on right. Monday. And I showed up and it was actually Saturday, Sunday, and Monday. Oh, good job, so, Joey. No, so I was kind of pissed because I missed the first two days of the sale, and I'm thinking, like, well, there's yeah. probably nothing left, but I did okay. Yeah, I was going to say, Joey, you I did, did okay. all right. He I showed me a okay. piece that's uh, – I'm just saying, you guys, if you follow his store, you should check out the piece that he's going to put up fairly soon. Because <laughs> And my tiki people who are, who are out there and watch this video or hear the podcast later, uh, you got to check out Joey's store because there's something rare coming through, and it's Disney Tiki. Um yeah, it's rad. So I'll try to get the link up in the tiki groups because <laughs> it's it's gonna be rare. Awesome. A, oh, a hatch. Yeah. Oh yeah, I love hatch chili. Oh, you're in New Mexico, Pamela. That's awesome. How's the weather Sweet. been there? It's hot. It well, I'm sure it was a little warm. I, I mean, know. it's probably starting like was, to come into fall for them. Well, like I was telling you, my brothers, my brother and his wife moved to Phoenix, and today they today they took their flight out from New Jersey, right. and it was, they were gonna land. It was gonna be like 110. Oh, my God. Oh, my God. Oh, no. Oh, she's, oh you're oh, in Arizona. She's in Arizona. Okay, oh, well, there yeah, you go. So, there you go. They're, they're moving to Phoenix area today. They're, they're probably just getting off the plane now. Went from yeah, 85 right. degrees to 110. I don't, I, don't, I don't know. Well, at least there's no snow. Yeah, it's been hot for me, too. Oh, yeah. Yeah, I, I tell them they go to, if they need to escape, it's like an hour and a half or so to Flagstaff where it's a lot cooler, apparently. Yeah. So, to go up in the mountains. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, I know a lot of people in Arizona. Like a lot of eBay resellers mm -hmm. are there. So, and a lot of transplants, Joey. See, that snow catches up with you. Yeah, it's true. Like eventually, you get just done shoveling, and you're like, "That's it, I'm done." I, I just want to be like, and they, and you can work year round. Yeah, one twenty three one day. Oh my, whoop whoop! I can't do that. No, I'd have I can't to be either. inside. I would be in a cave. 
Well, I remember, remember the show, I think it was two weeks ago here, maybe it was two weeks, two weeks ago, where it was like 95 in, our, in my area, and I don't, oh, have yeah, air, yeah, yeah. I don't have air conditioning, so I had a little fan going next to me while I'm doing the show and stuff. It was, I can't Joe. imagine that without air conditioning. I, I, oh. God bless. Well, I think most, what, most Arizonians <laughs> probably just do most things early morning, and then come mm-hmm. the hottest day, the you know, the hottest part of the day, they're probably inside, hunkered down, so or in a place that yeah. has air conditioning. For sure. So, yeah, the yeah, besides, yeah, so besides that, we um, I had a client call this weekend. So Oh, nice. Yeah, so just to give a little recap for people that are joining us for the first time, um, I, I'm a part-time reseller, although I put in full-time hours. I was going to say, <laughs> yeah. wait a minute, what? <laughs> yeah, I consider myself part-time in basically what I do, but I'm a full-time, full-time part-timer, as I call it. And uh, my main job is I'm a financial coach, but I work with e-com sellers so, or people wanting to get into e-com, small business, startup, that kind of stuff. Right. But I also do people that are just regular people who need help in budgeting and debt management and getting out of debt and getting on a, a plan right. and a financial plan and stuff. So I develop financial plans for people and everything else. But my, my niche is e- e-com sellers and stuff. So I was working with a lady who um, she signed up for this thing that I, I do with the clients. And I'm not, no, 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 no sales here, but I'm just saying program that I have it's a thing where we take them from start to finish basically so we basically built her store we built her listings we mm. developed some sourcing ideas for her around the house we did everything we've talked about so far where we actually go from uh, sourcing around the house getting some money putting that back into the business and then growing the sales from there so basically we went from zero listings up to she just broke 100 listings and we sort of did branding, we did Instagram branding, we did Facebook branding, we built everything together. So she's she's on her way. She's using the extra income to uh, you know, pay off some debt, which is great. And yeah, so that's what I was, that's awesome. that's what I was doing this weekend. Well, congratulations. That's awesome. Yeah. Congratulations to your client. I know you can't yeah. put them out there, but you know, if she's watching or they're watching, congratulations yeah. on getting to your financial freedom. Yeah, so it's awesome. Getting stuff out. Yeah, that's awesome, Joey. That's yeah. good. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I love it. I love when people actually um, have those kind of successes because it's really hard to start, you know, branding Mm -hmm. anything is hard. But once you stick to it and you actually get out there and you have a persona, it it from there it's smooth sailing Mm -hmm. in that sense. You know what I mean? So good job, Joey. Good job. Good job on setting her straight (laughs) and getting those numbers cha chinging for her. Yeah, you can imagine how scared they were the first few times just getting ready to take that plunge, you know. Yeah, yeah. When we well, talked about you know, people getting started. It's sometimes it's scary, but once they get started and they get the listings going and they start a listing on, um, I got them on eBay and Poshmark. So that's kind of the beginning job. basic stuff. So, right. Yeah. So now, now they're sourcing neighbors' clothes and like their friends' kids' clothes, and they're looking it's at a, the brands becomes, and stuff. It, it it's becomes like, addictive. Yeah. They're like, oh my god, if I made this much now, well, imagine if I had like two hundred listings or three hundred listings. Yeah. Right. Good for you. Yeah, we're gonna Joey. get you where you want to go shortly. Get this. I love it. I love now. it. Yeah, yeah, it's awesome. That's awesome. So basically, you just do the budget, and then you just set like what she needs to do to get to that, to whatever her her goals are. So that's really cool. yeah, exactly. So we'll do a household budget and figure out where their income's coming in. So let's say, for an example, they need to make three thousand dollars a month to run their household right. budget, and their regular job they're making twenty seven hundred. Well, we know right. we got to make three hundred dollars from side gigs or side jobs. So we'll do things like Uber and DoorDash and side gigs that way as well. Cool. But also get them onto the e-com marketplace because they'll have stuff to sell. So we'll try to make up right. the difference there and also try to make more than that so they have the extra money to throw at that and get rid of that faster because right. that eats up a lot of their um, disposable income. So if they can free up that yes. payment and they don't make more debt payments, man, they, they're on their way. I'm telling you. Yeah, so remember, <laughs> if you have somebody you know out there who has like Joey's niche is literally e-com, but – that being said, yeah. he will help anybody with their finances. I help everybody. So, yeah. but his niche is e-com resellers. Yeah. So that means that's not just eBay; it's across the board. Anybody, I can because work with anybody. Joey and I just found out there was 164 <laughs> online resources that you can yes. sell on. Holy moly! There's oh a God. lot. Yeah. I know. So, well, congratulations, Joey. Thank that's you. awesome, and congratulations on your uh, sourcing. Uh, Finally, unicorn that you found. <laughs> <laughs> finally got out. They finally got out in source and they found something cool. So yeah, that's awesome. That's awesome. Mm-hmm. Yeah. So good. So, so let's yeah. get into. Do we have our giveaway? If oh yeah. Following yeah, yeah. along on Ecom One Hundred and One Podcast and the infamous eBay water bottle. Yes. On Instagram. Yes. We yes. have our giveaway of the magnificent red and blue 
or teal, I guess. Teal, good job. It Joe. kind of matches the uh, color under our names. Yeah. It does. It totally does. I wonder does. how that worked out. <laughs> huh. <laughs> and so the lucky winner is the answer to the question was, or the question was, right. when discussing sin, what is the sin number that I refer to? And sin being what, Joey? Your seller independence number. Okay. So if you remember in Everybody episode remember that. two, we talked about seller independence day, your seller independence number. And that's the number of how much you need in order to be considered or consider yourself to go full time. You replaced your income, you replaced your benefit packages, you replaced your taxes, you replaced all your deductions from your paycheck, everything else. What you need to make in order to consider replacing your previous job straight on. Like right. apples, apples. And the number I consider is two, two times. So if you make oh, $50,000. So it's episode two and yes. the sin number is two. Ah, I love that. I was yep. only doing this because I was saying like episode peace two. Out. Yeah, episode two. Well, yeah. and peace out too. <laughs> yeah, so it's two, which means if you make $50,000, you should try to strive for $100,000 in sales right. because you right. have about 25% of that in taxes, 25% to cover your previous expenses like medical, dental, uh, insurances, and stuff like that. And you're left with a good amount, which should be the 50,000 you had at your previous job. So right. the answer is two. Now everybody's number is a little bit different uh, depending right, on what right. they get at their benefits and stuff, but the but average number is two to work with. Just, right. Just think right. double what you make, it's probably easier to go. So the right. winner who went ahead and um, DM'd us the correct answer, uh, yes. I, do have a, I do have a special runner up, but the winner for now is <laughs> HTK Flipper. Oh, yes. she just came in. Oh my da, God, da, da, honey, you da, just da. won. You, you just are won. the winner of our eBay. We were just by announcing by. the the giveaway winner. Oh my God, honey, yay! You just came in. <laughs> I love that. That's so epic. Yeah, she's yes. amazing. Ball. She's very sweet. Yeah, that's yes. awesome. And good job on remembering, remembering the number too. Yeah. Yes. Exactly. That's winner, awesome. Winner, yeah. Winner, HTK. So I will go ahead and reach out to you for your address, and you'll right. get a lovely, um, this lovely eBay water bottle in the yes. middle. Yes. And your job. And it's, and it's a rarer color. Yes. So good, good job. Yes. And your job with this water bottle is to treat it as if it was its own right. entity, which is fun to do you know, from the perspective of the water bottle. We like to see posts. Right. So follow, if you guys don't know, for those who are new in the chat, if you don't know, uh, that was given to us by uh, eBay, eBay water bottle Instagram. Um, we don't know who the person is. We like they give us the free stuff and we were like yeah we'll help you promote so go over to instagram at ebay water bottle follow them because once in a while well what's they once they what what they do is they actually take so like the water whoops i can't see if you the uh, uh, yeah the water bottle behind me i take everywhere with me right like i it takes mm -hmm. i and so you do photos but you're not in the photo it's the perspective of the water bottle so you yeah, and the dog cool. or the water bottle and the dog or the dog and the or the water yep. bottle and the movie ticket or whatever so i like have pictures at the tiki event with a mai tai so what you do is you load it up onto you know on your instagram or on your insta stories and tag ebay water bottle so there's two two things you have to do you have to tag them at ebay water bottle and then the hashtag because we're trying to help them grow their you know like across the board cool, yeah so, it correlates it better yeah. it's down to one spot with the hashtag right. so it's easy so so have fun like yeah. i know uh htk like has kit like do just do everything with it take it in the truck uh, you could make funny little i mean you could do kind of memes it's getting kind of crazy out there and it is so fun mm -hmm. and i just want to fill up my feed with the water bottle because at this point it's just yeah. hysterical to me so far the water so, bottle has been golfing it's been to see hamilton yes. it's been to the hamilton! beach it's been yes. it listens to the podcast weekly it um mm -hmm. it's been on vacation in hawaii it's, it's, drink of my it's time. been it's in been a with bicycle accident time. in hawaii it's been everywhere oh dear oh my yeah. okay well so, the dented it can't yeah yeah so, so it's been everywhere. 
so HT, HTK, congratulations, honey. Congrats, Good job on uh, following us. And we, yes. we love that it's going to a, a loyal fan. That's awesome. So have fun. Yeah. So make sure you DM us and we'll get the address out. And, and you know, knowing Joey, he'll probably put a few other goodies in there. Just you, to, never, you never know what I got. You never know. Bag. You never know. You and never then know. We, have a, we do have a runner-up, I will mention. And the runner-up yes. happens to be... Greg. <laughs> Oh, our, our not, he's Greg. not in today. He's not in today. Must here. be too he's late for him. Up. So, Greg, if you watch this on the recast, uh, hit us up, and we will um, hook you up with some stuff at the next meetup. So head on down to yes. meetup, and we'll hook yes. you up with that. Where can yes. I buy one of those? Sunday Funday, Pamela. Um, I, they're, they're not for purchase right now, but I take it from what I hear the at eBay, Insta at eBay Water Bottle Instagram page will be having a contest of its own soon. Right, and, right. And I think yeah. what you should do, we, we should tell them that we've got like some interest and that they should come up with a really good, like you had to do a lot of taggings. Like that's what they need to do. Mm -hmm. Yeah, 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 yeah. So it's stay awesome. Tuned. Yeah, yeah, so. Stay tuned on that page. There's going to be a lot of fun stuff coming down the pike over there. I hear that they're going to do uh, yeah. eBay Water Bottle Halloween costumes and Right. Back to school stuff, so it should be a fun right. case. So, yeah. Pamela, go over to uh, at eBay Water Bottle. Like, while you're like watching us right now, go like, like, and start getting in there. And it doesn't have to be this current water bottle. It can be. No. I have old ones too that I'm that I use, and they and they put those up too. I mean, we have the ones that look like the milk. I call it the milk bottle, but it's like kind of long and it's mm -hmm. kind of a small neck. And then there's the glass one that I use all the time. Yes, yes. So yeah, so I, even, I agree. Yeah, I would say if you don't have one right now, and you want to get one soon, but you want to participate, take right. a water bottle that you have and stick an eBay sticker on it for mm. now, and do a pseudo right. eBay, eBay water bottle, and so you can get an actual eBay water. Oh, you have one from Open, perfect. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah that the works ones they too. Gave from open yeah. were the, any the kind of water bottle too. that has the eBay logo on or eBay name on it works for this, for this fun uh, page. Yeah, so, yeah, just go for it. Yeah, nice. Yeah, old. Oh, fun. I love it. Oh my gosh. Yeah, that's really. I love that Instagram. So it's a fun yeah, one for it's me. It's cool. It takes it's a yeah. nice little break because it gets to see sellers in like uh, other environments, like people on, like you said, on vacation. Somebody right. was playing. Somebody was playing golf with it the other day. Right. Not with it, but they was with their with them while they were actually while they were playing. So, uh, you know, different yeah. traveling and sourcing and right. Yeah, all over the country. And, and, so, and it's we fun have to see where it's at. What's hysterical is that at the last meetup. We had so many water bottles there. It was like a family reunion. It was hysterical. Yeah. So, yeah, it was pretty fun. That was great. That was great. Anyway, well, I guess yeah. we should get into what everybody came to see. Yes. And that is our take. Coffee talk. Oh, no, I'm yeah. sorry. Okay. <laughs> Coffee talk again. Four shot mocha espresso. I'm almost yes. done in wire. Okay, great. Wow. This is my Disney, and I just put two, two shots of espresso in my latte. Oh, mm. man. That was good coffee. I like that. It was good. I had that. Yeah, it was good, right? I've been drinking that a lot. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Coffee talk is good. And we have a surprise coming in the mail, Joey. I told you about that. Mm -hmm. So we'll have to, like, as soon as that comes in the mail, we'll 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 do a little shout out there, too. I can't wait. So, because Joey and I love coffee. Oh coffee, God, coffee, so coffee. Much. I know. I'm drink some water. Yeah. I, well, good. You need to hydrate. <laughs> oh, yeah. HTK. Like, yeah. absolutely. Dude, we're so excited. Like, it's fun. It, the contest was fun. I'm I'm just glad yeah. that we were we were able to be included cuz you know they reached out to us and then we were like, "Heck yeah, we'll do a giveaway of a water bottle since Joey and I use ours yeah. all the time." So yeah, so, it's so perfect. awesome. Okay, let's just get into the nitty-gritty, should we? Like we should yeah. roll up our sleeves. So, let's see if I can do this let's, right here. Let's talk I'm going to do that and I'm going to share my screen. Oh, I really got to do a uh, cleaning in my office. It's getting ridiculous up in here. Getting ready for Q4, everybody. I got, okay. my, I got my profit piles left and right. Oh, yeah, uh, good job, Joey. As everybody can see, today was the release of the 2019 Fall Seller Update. Uh, right. Previous years in the past, from what I gather, and I don't really remember much last year because the past is the past, but I believe last year was panic mode for most people because oh, yeah. it happened right before fourth quarter, and there were some changes that happened, and people got all crazy out because <laughs> it affected fourth quarter. Chicken little. They got a little um, chicken little. What eBay did this year was they pretty much announced all the changes they were going to make in like January and kind of gave a time frame of when they were going to roll some stuff out. But they kept some stuff back and mm -hmm. kind of released things. So 
what I mean what I mean by that is when the seller updates come out, it's not twenty thousand new things. It's like nineteen thousand nine hundred ninety eight old things and just two new things. Right, right. So everybody kind of knows what's going on. A lot of stuff. But for this one, we either talked about it on our show, it was talked about at eBay Open recently, or at our meetup. So a lot of the stuff is still there. But there are a couple things that got announced today that I must say. Oh yeah. I do I dare say yeah, like, like we got to took we, we well let's see we took a step back for a moment we took a deep breath we did wasaba like we were like Whoo. home right home yep. because you know I think I think we're all all almost all the resellers probably had the same reaction on the same two big things and we'll get we'll get into those. But uh, did you, mm-hmm. I mean, on the marketplace with, let's see, that's the, oh, that's when they talked about, like, the payments and the stuff like that. Yeah. The, the payments is interesting. The managed payments, I, we're eventually going to have to get into that, I know. But the only reason I haven't jumped in, and eBay, if you're listening, the only reason I haven't jumped in is because you guys are not doing international sales. And I just had four sales this weekend. Do you know what I mean? Like, it, I, it would kind of cut my nose off to spite my face, kind of. Mm-hmm. So I can't, and if you do any charity events, so like if you sell anything for charity, it doesn't support that yet either. And so that's kind of a bummer. So for the nonprofit people, they can't really even use it to try it until they can actually support it. So, you know what I mean? So anyway, but I do like, I do like just to cover the marketplace. I do like the fact that they have the multiple access. You can have multi user account. Yeah. Access. So why don't I click into each thing here? There's only four All right, yeah, besides the it. user agreement. And we'll just kind of dissect each one and we'll kind of just talk yeah. about it. So we go into the marketplace, like you said, and the first thing they talked about is uh, new managed payments features and more ways for buyers to pay, easier ways to refund and seller, new seller protections, preview right. what's coming in managed payments, and the multi-user account access. Yeah, so basically, saying, that's really uh, yeah. it. I mean, there's nothing that's added here. Nothing we all know about there. managed payments. They just, they just keep adding the types of managed payments Options right, like which PayPal is cool. is now on there. To, and, yeah, which is awesome. Yeah. And, and Google Pay is now on there too. So yeah, that's Google Pay, cool. PayPal, PayPal Credit, Apple Pay. I mean, just pretty much everything. Oh, and gift um, cards too? Ooh, that's nice. Yeah, that's cool. That is kind of cool, yeah. Right, here's new features to help you run your business. New features like uh, seller-initiated refunds of partial or full, or full payments, and then easier order management. So if you follow transactions through their entire life cycle so you can officially track and manage orders. Okay, great, super. Yeah. Uh, new finance FPI, APIs, uh, integrations for payment, and then the multiple seller initiated refunds. So this is actually interesting. So if you have diff- if you have multiple sellers that need a refund, you can do it on one tab right. rather than going in and out of each order. Right. Okay, Pamela. Yeah. I- are you? I just want to address something. So, are you saying that if you do your own international sales, which I do because I don't do global shipping program, that I can get on the management payments? Like, is that easier that way? Because you know what, I have to ask. I haven't asked Brian the right question. Then, I'm glad that you've been in through the start. Do are you liking it? Let let people know in here if you're if you're liking it and you know. Yeah. I'd like to hear like you and I need to maybe connect after the show Pam and let's talk about that managed payments because I would like to jump in there and figure it out but anyway go yeah, ahead Joey. I'm curious on that too because some people were saying they had some international sales but I was under the impression that it wasn't yet but maybe right but I'm now. wondering if it's like she's saying maybe it's just the global shipping program and if you're not in the global shipping program like I am not in it I do my own shipping mm-hmm. that perhaps maybe you still could if you yeah. are in the program maybe you can't yeah, it had trouble at the beginning. Yeah, I think I think everybody does because you're used to a certain flow, and then and the whole PayPal thing not coming out of your you know PayPal is a little frustrating, I'm sure. All right, are you on the second part? The are you in management? I just clicked in real quick to see if there was an option on here about um, the international oh, sales under yeah. the FAQs. But oh I'm not, yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm not see seeing it. anything here in the FAQs. No. I know they're having oh, a lot here it of is. Oh, they yeah. do, don't support the global shipping program for sellers, but they all, however, all non-US buyers can shop and pay in eBay as they do today. Uh, we currently don't support the global shipping program. So there you go. That's that's the reason why. If you do global shipping, you can't be in managed payments right. yet, Or you shouldn't be in managed payments. If you ship on your okay. own, Okay. Well, home, maybe you can then be I'll in. jump in, Joey, and give it a shot. I mean, there once you, you get go. in, you can't come back out. But no. <laughs> I'll, have to, I'll have to figure this out. I mean, because we're coming yeah. into Q4, and I'm just not sure if I want to, like, 
Maybe I should wait until after Q4 and jump in. I think so too. I think I'm gonna wait till mostly they force me in. <laughs> really? Well, yeah, I, 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 I just don't know bib. yet. Yeah, I re I think I really want to get in, but I just mm -hmm. don't think I want to do it like Q4 though. Do you yeah, know what I mean? exactly. Like Pamela just said, wait till after fourth quarter. This way, because yeah. what's, what's gonna happen, and we'll get to that in a second, is the way they lock up your money for a couple of days. Like right now with PayPal, right. as soon as the buyer pays, you have your money to respend it and reinvest in your business, buy something else. But right. managed payments similar like Poshmark, you got to wait a couple yes. days before you get your money. So yes. it's a transition. And in fourth quarter, where we're constantly replenishing our store, buying and selling, buying and selling, it's probably not right. a good time to get in there right. yet. Right. Right. Good. Good. Good point, guys. Yeah. Good point. So next thing on here was uh, multi-user account access. We talked about this uh, on a show before, and this was brought up at eBay Open. It basically sets permissions to allow authorized people to perform functions on your behalf. So. Which they is amazing, boss. Yeah, they use their own login and everything else, but you grant them permissions to create and edit drafts or publish and revise listings. So, right, perfect. That's a great way to get some extra work done uh, during the, during this time. Get some listings up. So they show some samples here of uh, people using the eBay Open account, but these are people that can go in there and like edit the items or change the items or yeah, however it works. So That's perfect. Awesome. That's a great way to get some extra work in. And you know what, Robin? Hmm. That's it for marketplace updates. Mm. Yeah, it was kind of just it was yeah. just a real quick quick. Nothing really new new. Yeah, no. growth tools is where it's at. Growth tools is Growth tools. So let's really save that one for last. Let's go okay. to Okay, and inventory. inventory optimization. Okay. So basically on this one again everybody just they had some category changes, new pricing for cars and trucks and new item specific recommendations and requirements. That item specific one is one we've talked about at length. We had our show on it or eBay made a recap. They talked about it our last right. two two actually. One where um they did the demonstration right after eBay opened and then oh, last Oh yeah, month yeah, yeah, with uh, um, Harry Temkin. Harry Temkin was there, yeah. Yeah, Temkin, yeah. Yeah. So basically starting hey. October 15th. Oh, go ahead. Sorry. No, I was gonna say, did anybody else see the change in their uh, in their eBay store? Did you guys see it's already changed over to the new the new uh, flow? Have you mm. seen that? No, no, I haven't. Not yet. Oh, okay, it's gonna be rolling out. You'll see. It's a very interesting. It's interesting to be to be honest. It's an the, interesting the listing flow. tool stuff. Yeah, like when you yeah. do the listing and stuff, it's fine. Like it's, but it's a lot of drop downs. Mm. But then when you actually like, I'm a buyer too on eBay, and so when you actually look to look for something, the the way the listing looks on either a PC versus a phone is quite different now. Like interesting. it's interesting. Yeah, it reminds me of I hate to say it, the A word. It reminds me of mm -hmm. Amazon Flow a little bit. You know, cleaner, yeah, yeah, yeah. And simpler, and it just gets to the point. Like I, I mean, I like that. Cool. But yeah, anyway. Cool. So Go basically ahead. a lot of this stuff here doesn't uh, it doesn't really affect me too much. I mean, it doesn't really affect any of us really that much. It's basically the category changes. So basically they took right. some of these chat categories here, October 15th. See business and industrial, cameras and phones, clothing and shoes. So that one affects me a lot. Toys and hobby, video games, sure, those guys. And then January 2020, it's kids and clothes, baby, pet supplies, home and garden stuff. So what they're doing is they're... Um, you click on the impacted categories, you can see what they basically are doing is taking some of the names and um, revamping the names. So, well, and they're optimizing the, yeah, you know, the so flow. You can see here again what I clicked on. You can see these are the ones that changed. So, these are new categories. So what they did when, you know, business and industrial, they renamed some categories on their HVAC and uh, HVAC register, refrigeration and home and garden stuff. They took like added new categories like cocktails and mixes and, Brandy stuff and furniture, and oh, then they very cool. then they that retired cool, some though. categories. So there's no right. men's clothing. Certain ID categories been retired, or they they moved and changed things like into certain it, ones. Put it yeah. together, yeah. yeah, yeah. So that's basically it's what they end up doing. They do that a lot. Flow. And sometimes, yeah. actually, I looked. And some of them were just they took the commas out, or they added commas to it. So instead of saying men's clothing shoes and accessories they they put men's clothing comma shoes comma accessories that oh, that's a whole okay. new title or something along those lines so that was sure, sure. something easy they did there okay um the best fit okay great i know specifics we'll get to in a second that actually is the uh, cars and stuff i don't really sell we don't sell vehicles but for people that sell the vehicles and cars and stuff they changed the whole uh simplified pricing option for people extra yeah i heard it was easier like that. so yeah. that's that hopefully for them that's a good thing yeah. Well, we'll get into the next part is the listing flow, like you're talking. We talked about so the item specific. Yeah. So, it's gonna be the required 
which is coming up soon, and then which is October eighth, twenty nineteen. Additional specifics will be required, and then early twenty twenty, they'll have new requirements in different categories like electronics, home, and garden. So basically, as like Robin was saying, I'll see if I can get my screen a little bit bigger here. Uh, this is bigger on the screen. Yeah, we go. So it's the required of this thing is like the brand, and then there's the recommended ones below. So you can see the person put in the compatibility of their their pod item that they're selling for an espresso machine. And that comes up with when you put an espresso in, you get 40, 40 point, sorry, 40,700 searches it shows up in. And then as right. you go down here and you see trending and you see some of these other categories as you go through them, this number will go higher and higher so that your your search, uh, your potential for showing up a search increases a lot more than just not having these things filled in. Right, which is really cool because that little circle that you're talking about with the little lightning in it, mm -hmm. every time you fill in a, uh, a drop down, so your your item specifics, the more you put in, the more that fills in, that's what you want. You want, And, yeah. and the numbers change at the bottom. So you'll get to like a million. Like it's, it's pretty cool. I, I was in the testing for that and I love it. And I hope you guys do too because it – it to me is going to teach sellers to be a better seller, meaning that you are not going to have, I think you're going to have people really being very truthful about their item that they're selling. So for example, like Kuji, you can't put in Bill Crosby, you, you can't word spam, you can't do anything. And sometimes people put Gucci, you know, Chanel and something else in the mm -hmm. item specifics and so that when you're a buyer and you put in Chanel all of a sudden you get all of the randomness which is like I hate that it's like yeah. I didn't ask for the Prada why do you have Chanel in that title like I just want the Chanel like yeah so it's it's just going to teach newer newer sellers how to be re, you know to really get their flow down to a science and yeah you know, just be better sellers and what's really important with this stuff too is to remember, even though it says it's recommended, and let's just say you want to stop at this forty thousand. Correct. The idea is to fill these in as much as you can so this fills up and you get the little lightning bolt. But if you want to stop at forty thousand, that's fine. The only problem is these all mm -hmm. things down here now are searchable on the left hand side. So if, if I'm looking for an espresso and you have an espresso, let's say caffeine free, and you didn't check caffeine free, and I on the left side checked espresso caffeine free, your item's not showing up. Right. Right. So what happens is you get lower in the search. Right. Lower and lower and lower. Say in the title, say it in the description, that's fine, but you're not going to show up in search if I use that left hand column. If I don't right, use the left hand column and I just use title and description right. up top. Right. Because we're because now what crossed. we're going to do as uh, what eBay is also trying to do is make better buyers. Right. So that the buyer comes in and, and has like they'll see something, right? So Joey's out with Patina and he sees this caffeine free thing and he's like, Oh, I gotta buy that. Mm -hmm. They're going to check eBay first, and they're going to be very item-specific on their description, and it'll pop up, and in, in my listing will come up first because I Correct. marked all the right all the right things. So and I, Yeah, and I think, too, know, Robin, what it might end up doing, or I think its ultimate plan is right. to reduce returns because oh, the, as absolutely. a buyer, I know exactly oh what I'm buying based I, on everything right. that was checkmarked. And I think that's, like, number one, Joey. I, think, I mean, right. that's what I'm saying, like, make it – just better buying practices and better selling practices exactly. so that one, if you have any disclosures to make on your item, you do it then. And as mm -hmm. a buyer, you know exactly what you're getting. So there's none of this like, oh, I didn't see that or it wasn't marked. So yeah, I totally, oh my yeah. gosh, 150% agree. So yes, you are Sweet. absolutely on the ball there, Joey. So now you have to list all your money piles. <laughs> yeah, I know. <laughs> Hopefully, I can get somebody from the multi-user access program to help me out. Yes. Get a college student, Joey. Oh, yeah. I just talked to my friend, Lorna, and she just gave me this rad idea. Like, right now, all the kids are coming back to college, at mm -hmm. least in my area, because, I mean, I'm not a college city, but, I mean, we do have some amazing colleges around, and yeah. junior colleges. I, I'm going to put an ad out I'm gonna, on Facebook and on the Sac State, you know, website, mm -hmm. too, looking for part-time work. To see if someone I can get somebody, to, you know, they can do it from their dorm room. I don't really care. Like, just help me out. I got all these piles, money piles yeah. that I need help in. And then if they want to come to my house and do photography and all that, that would be great too. Because Jimmy Boy is working a lot of overtime, so I'm I'm losing my photo guy half the time, right? And then yeah. I'm trying to list crazy, but I got all these other things going on too. Just like you, Joey, all these side hustles. So it's like I would love to have. I'm I'm really excited about the multiple, you know, the multi-user account situation because yeah. I think oh James has some way, 
Hey, to my brother Rob, just letting you know, wife. Ah, oh, yes, hey, good job. It. He's landed. He's the eagle has landed. Yes. Is it hot? Is it hot, James? Is this got to be hot? It's got to be are hot. You, are you are you feeling it? Like, do you have a pool? Can you have access to water? <laughs> yeah. Are you hydrated? I hear the cactus store water in the desert, so you can go. <laughs> yeah. Get your get your suntan lotion. Get your get your, get protected. Get a hat. <laughs> 100, 102. Is that the SPF Pam, you need? 102 or what? Yeah, Jeez. I was gonna say Pam. Pam is Pam is from Arizona too. Pam can fill you in. <laughs> yeah, my God. Mm. Oh, well, congratulations great. on the move, James. Yeah, great. Glad Good you job. guys got there, and I'm glad the first thing you did was tune into our show. Yeah, absolutely. Good job, James. Good brother. Uh, Good brother. <laughs> all right, so let's get into the 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 seller protections and policy updates. We'll get into shortly. Let's do that real quick, actually. Uh, additional seller protections for top-rated sellers. Mm -hmm. um, this is the one that I that there's that one thing. So it, it basically yeah. did. Let's see, seller protections. Okay, so let's just say it, Joey. They got this thing about uh, returns, mm -hmm. right? Because everybody knows the seller protections for the top-rated sellers. Everybody right here, knows that. number two. Right. So number return two on the credit. return label credit for the item or an, an a NAD is what the item not as described status. eBay is saying that they will refund up to six dollars on the return label for the those INADs. I don't know how I feel about that, Joey, because I I my yeah. shipping is not always six dollars. No. You know, like I just shipped out uh, an item which was a Samoyed heavy figurine that was eight pounds, and that shipping was twenty three dollars. Or it would have been twenty three dollars through eBay, but I went through FedEx. And it was only fourteen, but still, wow. it doesn't. I mean, six dollars. I'm only getting six dollars. Like, what happened to my other? <laughs> what what happened? Where's my other half of that? <laughs> <laughs> the other half of that gets rolled into your next purchase, and the other buyer buys something a lot more expensive because you got to exactly. make your money back. How's, okay. So, like, I, 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 so how do you yeah. guys feel about that? Those on here who are eBay resellers, how do you feel about eBay refunding up up to? It's not saying it's a guarantee. Up to six dollars for one of your returns. And the other I, thing I, here, Robert, it says you'll receive the return shipping label credit on your monthly invoice. So you won't be right mm -hmm. away. You have to wait to the following month in order to right. And you better make sure. Back. And you better make sure that you check that now. So, yeah. like, if you do have a refund, put that somewhere on your bulletin board to check your credits to make sure you got that. See, I'm not impressed with most. Uh, yes. See, exactly, exactly. HTK. I agree. Anything over, I mean, Joey, like we do close, Joey and I, and so I'm sure we're mm -hmm. a little under sometimes. So, you know, I, I, yeah. Joey said something earlier when we were doing a tech check. He was saying, and it, and it, he said it was the average. And I'm like, I want to know where they got the average from because not all of us are clothing sellers. Like, I know Joey and I yeah. are. But what about those that just do collectibles? Like, that's right. What the but heck? Even with my clothing, something I, I, I sent out oh, a pair well, a of jeans. Yeah. I sent a pair of jeans the other day. It was two and a half pounds. Right. Oh, my gosh. Can you imagine wearing those, Joey? By the time I packed it and shipped it, it was two and a half pounds. So I had to go yeah. in a priority box, which, right. oh, speaking off the top here a little bit, just by the way, I don't have one in front of me. But if you ever seen, the you, you know, the, the regional A boxes? Yes. That are like square? Yes. Right. I found some that were elongated. Regional A boxes, so they're oh, a little cool. thinner, but they're longer and wider, so they fit jeans perfectly right in. Jerseys, if they're mm. folded, just right in, and it looks like a mini uh, medium flat rate box. But and it's can you the same find regional that on A box. Site? Really? Can I couldn't find, find it on their site. So what happened was I went to my local post office, and I guess yeah. somebody had bought them and returned them there, and they just had them oh. out for people to take. And I was like, "Ooh, what are these?" So yeah, I took them. It, so yeah, it's interesting. Yeah. You could find those. Those are awesome. They they fit. They fit good. They're like a little bit smaller than the, the medium boxes, those those right. long longer ones. But yeah, they're yeah. I'll have to, I'll have to show you next time we come on. Yeah, for sure. Man, we'll have oh, to man. talk about that. Yeah, it's yeah, cool. I agree. I there, agree, yeah. Pamela. I agree. I I don't. Mm -hmm. I'm not saying that I disagree totally with eBay. I'm sure they did their due diligence to find out the average for clothing sellers. Okay. But still, if you, I mean, ten. I mean, yeah. I I don't. I'm kind of. 
I'm miscombobulated about mm-hmm. it a little bit. Yeah, because little... I guess my point was I was saying too. I, I with the clothing, I still upgrade people to uh, these guys a lot. You know, the padded flat rate once in a while. Because when you get something that's like higher weight, like 15 ounces, it almost makes sense to just throw it in the padded flat weight for the price. You know what I'm saying? Right. right. So, but if I'm spending, if you're going to spend seven dollars on a 15 ounce item to go across country and i can spend 750 to set it to your priority right. and get it pretty much the next day i'm right. going to do that but i'm only going to get six dollars back right so then as joey who's the financial guru in our group that's not really good business is it joey because now no. i'm i mean now i'm losing money in my business so now i think it's almost to the point now where i'm wondering if it will change people's views on free shipping because do you know what I mean? Like, I, yeah, I don't know, man. I don't know. Yeah. Yeah. I don't know. Yeah. Jane. Oh, uh, not making regional a B in boxes. You know what? I, I don't think they're making the B. I think they're making the A's though. Right. They will honor the price of the original. Until they I run. couldn't oh. find B's anymore. Oh, maybe, maybe when they run out, she might be right about that. I don't, I mean, okay. I'm not a USPS specialist, but she, she, She's yeah. been on an eBay reseller for a while, so she yeah. When has. I went onto my listing flow to send something the other day, I didn't have the option to send it B. I only had the option to send it A through eBay. Oh, good, so I don't know good if the Bs point. are going anymore. But yeah, the, the average, still there. you know, the average would probably be better at eight. I agree. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. I definitely. Yeah, I agree. I mm. I think a lot of us are kind of like we took like a step back, huh, Joey? We were kind of like, what, what? Yeah, it was kind of like okay. Well, and I, they, I they didn't discuss yeah. that at eBay no. Meetup either. Like there was that no was no poll or anything. I don't know. Right, right. I mean, I so, don't. Yeah. I don't do free shipping, so I don't think this affects oh, me good. at all. <laughs> but still, if I did, correct. I think this is sort of something you have to build into your price. But let me say, if you use the thing we talked about just previously, the item specific flow, and you get that all done correctly, you should reduce your returns, which therefore should reduce your INADs, which therefore should reduce your claims at the $6 per return item. Right, I mean, I, <laughs> right, which their goal, well, right? okay, that is their goal, but I, exactly. s- yes, I'm still miscombobulated. Yeah. I know, it's just they throw this stuff out there and you're like, oh my God, I'm gonna have so many returns in the fourth quarter, I'm gonna be losing money and everything else. Right. Yeah, these are false INAD claims. Um, uh-huh. They're trying to which reduce I, I, that, which is great. But have you? Okay, so like, let's talk about that for a moment. So, how many have you had, like, it, up to this point? So, from the beginning of the year to this today, like, like less than ten or more. I've had. I'm knock on wood because I don't give my yeah. store info out. I've had zero returns this year. Oh, that's amazing balls. Good job, Joey. I'm knocking on wood too. Okay, so out of the beginning of the year to now, I've only had two for items not as described. Mm-hmm. Both times though, I won the case. Because I took photos off of like off of eBay, meaning that I I had a feeling about this one particular buyer and my gut was right. right. So I was able to like, you know, fight it. But also mm-hmm. my running history, if you I mean I think if you're a good if you're a top rated seller and your history is fairly good and yeah. you're not one of those people who constantly whatever, you know, is constantly calling all the time and you're, you know, crying wolf or whatever, mm-hmm. I think they're like, yeah, we'll give you this one. But I've only had two. I've only, I've only had two. So I'd be kind of curious what everybody else has had. So like, yeah, let's see. Uh, now, you yeah, know what? I just got a update. It's got a text from Bettina reminding me that we actually did have a return this year. <laughs> oh, my God. Good job, Bettina. Bettina's like, but excuse they, me. Pardon they, me. Didn't, they didn't send it back in time. Oh. So they init- the buyer initiated the return, but never sent the item back within the seven days we're supposed to get it back. So the case was closed. Oh, there you go. Yeah. There you go. Well, wait, seven days? You only well, whatever it days? was. Whatever it was on the... Oh, okay. It was, they were, it was within the 30-day period, but they had, once you initiate oh, the return, the buyer, yes. has, I have to receive it by a certain date. Correct, correct. And, and then that's when we do the refund, but they never correct. sent it back. So the right, case was automatically correct. closed. So that was that. Oh, yeah, that that's kind of cool. Yeah. Uh, yeah, I do like that part. Okay. Well, we did cover that. Uh, okay, let's talk about something really fun, though, within that. Okay, the growth tool. I do like the fact, Joey, that we now can send offers to those who have items in their cart. Yes. How do you guys feel about that? Because I'm tools. really excited about that. Like, the only thing that I'm 
which is interesting. I'm surprised they don't let you know that it's in a cart, but whatever. I'll take mm -hmm. it regardless. Because like this last holiday, okay, so like Saturday, I came on Sunday, I had 61, I had 61 items that I could send offers to. Wow. And so I was like, woohoo, I'm going to go do it. But now I'm wondering, if, like, when does this roll out again? October, right? October, I think, right? Or yeah. yeah. Uh, October looks like a lot of stuff. So that means it might increase for me for those who I don't who don't watch the item, but just throw it in their cart. Like, I do that mm -hmm. a lot as I shop on eBay, too, Joey. I'm going to so be honest I. with you. So it's kind of great that they're going to, like, ooh, someone's got something in their cart. And then, so I'm kind of excited about that. I'm just yeah, thinking. like I was telling you beforehand, I had some offers I sent out earlier before the show. And several of them had a watcher but there was two of them that didn't have watchers but they could still send offers to so i can only assume that those were in carts but they right. only you know that it's in a cart but that's the only way i can tell because there's no okay. watchers on the item but i was able to send an offer to them right well maybe perhaps yeah i mean like it could be like yeah. you're already rolled in and you know because some of us are already rolled in we don't know it you yeah. know though they say it's going to go completely live in october you mm -hmm. know how ebay works they do a little bit at a time so everybody gonna... will have it in october yes that's how exactly. they start rolling out. So, so what i like here too robin is yes when you send the offers to buyers yes. starting in october they can counter offer yes and so can we which is kind of nice yes. so we can have like this whole you know yeah i agree i i think and i, I think did not EBay's know that I, oh, you didn't know that? No, I just assumed that people were just ignoring my offers when I sent it to them. And I'm like, oh, oh maybe this, will get the, this will get the ball rolling and get started. No problem. It's <laughs> a nice little couple dollars off here to get the ball rolling. And then they don't hear anything right. back or make a sound. And that like, thing, right. Because what am I they, doing they, here? They couldn't come back. Yes. Right. So now that's going to be really exciting, too. Yeah. I love that. I so do. I love fun. it. Uh, okay, the other thing that I like because I don't know about Joey, but uh, we do. I do a lot of stuff on my phone too. Is that they now have access to you? You now have access to promoted listings, uh, your listings from your mobile and on my eBay on your phone. So I'm kind of excited about that. Like, it's I'm kind really of exciting excited. to do the promoted listings on the phone. However. As part of the promoter listings, which everybody saw in right. the, probably oh, some yeah. of the groups today, the biggest gripe that most people had, and we saved the best for last, mm -hmm. is the dun, removal dun, of the duplicated, dun. promoted, and non-promoter listings in search. So cool. right now, if you have an item, let's say I'm selling this water bottle, and I have it as a promoter listing, and you go look for a water bottle, you'll see a sponsored ad, and right underneath that, essentially, or whatever below that, you'll see my regular ad. And if you click on the regular one, you buy it fine. If you click on the ones that are sponsored, I pay a promoted listings fee of whatever percentage I set up for. So what they're gonna do now is if I have a promoted listing for this, you won't see the regular ad anymore. You'll just see the sponsored ad. And you'll click on it and buy it from me and I'll pay the promoter listings fee. Right. So instead of having, let's say I have 700 items in my store, instead of having 1400 listings, I will have 700 listings again, all promoted. If I, if you buy it from me, send an offer to me, I send an offer to you, however you buy it, I'm paying a promoter listings fee. There's no chance of a buyer not buying it through promoter listings at that point, unless you just take promoter right. listings off all your stuff. Right. Right. Which but it is a, yes, you have to go rethink your strategy of yes. I'm just promoting my entire store. Right. So Joey and I we were talking earlier when we were doing a tech check and we both, I think we both agree that if you have collectibles, so like Joey and I do a lot of vintage collectibles, I, I wouldn't say they're one-offs because I'm sure there's others on the site, but if it's collectible and it's more rare than say like 25,000 men's shirts from Ralph Lauren, mm -hmm. I think I would take the Ralph Lauren off of promoted, I mean I would take the collectible off of promoted listing. Right. So, okay. So basically, let me just yeah. say this. My whole store is 5% across the board. Okay. So now I have got to rethink it because I don't, because, because basically this is what it read, right? It read this. It says they, they're also there. It says it's going to increase visibility for promoted listing in search by, by shifting to a mix of promoted listing and non promoted listing, which is what they call organic in this because it creates more search so i'm thinking like really because now i'm not at the top of the search anymore so anybody who's not promoting could be at the top so why am i promoting right right i mean 
yeah. So I really, I, Joey's right. We're really so, going to have again, to So, if I'm promoting this. the water bottle, I would assume that I would be towards the top of the search when people are looking for water bottles. But Correct. if you're not, Correct. you may be above me and I might be down here. And that's exactly. something they couldn't figure out today in the chat room was somebody saying, well, I price this at $30 and promote it. And you price yours at $25 and don't promote it. Are you showing don't up above me because of price? Even though I'm paying for quote unquote placement with the promoter right. listing. Well, okay. So how they read, okay. So what they did to add to that was they say it's to balance visibility for both promoted listings and organic non-promoted listing, depending on the relevance to a buyer search and quality of a seller's listing. So I think what you're you're asking, it's legitimate to ask that because mm -hmm. if your $30 promoted listing was a shoddy listing, but your $25 listing was great pictures, you know, whatever, mm -hmm. whatever, do they go higher? Yeah. And, and what if is it's the, an apples to apples comparison, yes. it's still, do they go higher right? or not because of the pay? So, I think yeah. someone's going to have to, I mean, hopefully someone's going to try to test that theory mm -hmm. and see, like do one promoted, one not promoted and see how it plays out. But boy, mm -hmm. I kind of think that eBay didn't quite think this one totally through because. Yeah, there's a lot of chatter of people that are not going to be doing promoted listings chatter for is the a time good, being. Uh, uh -huh. You know, they're mm -hmm. just going to take their stuff off or just, and they actually said it on the, in the, in the chat, which I, uh, or um, on the show today on, on the Facebook page, which I was surprised about, but they were talking about different sort of, sort of um, promotions to run with your promoter listing or different kind of, yeah, promotions, I guess. So they said, try your whole store for a week and then don't have your whole store for a week and see how you do in sales and then try a few items of this and a few items of that. So. They're just sort of like, just play, I don't want to say just play Roulette? a guessing game. Yeah, just play a guessing game with your items. But um, yeah, for me personally, I used to just do my entire store. At, like you said, you did five. I did 3% of my entire store. I have to go in now and sort of re-edit all my items because if, if I'm the only one in a certain category, I don't need to promote it. No. So, no, that's what I'm saying. Like if you have literally a, a rare item, mm -hmm. like the thing that you found, the unicorn that mm -hmm. you found, like I would say that you wouldn't have to promote that. Right. Right? So then you're saving a couple bucks. Thanks, eBay. But for the rest of us who have, you know, 45 Ralph Lorenz and it's a saturated category, yeah. how do you def – I mean, what? How do you stand out? Right. Unless you so, pay more I mean, I, I, I would certainly say this much. I wouldn't do this – you know, I wouldn't do uh, the – what's the one when you do the promoted listing and it's, it's the um, – Oh my gosh, what is it called when you do, it's not the average, but it's the trending. Uh, trending. I wouldn't do trending anymore. No, some of those are 10, 12, 15%. I mean, it's ridiculous. No like you're, it, 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 there's no guarantee that you're going to be at the top of the search. No, you not could be on page two talking, or three. Oh my right. God. Listen, we're not trying to be argumentative go. with eBay. We're just being, let's just be really, we're, we're just being very transparent and honest. Yeah. It's obviously in the military, we call it a lot of nattering. There's this, there's a lot of, static on the line and obviously mm -hmm. this is creating a ripple through the reseller you know world the community so it's something that needs to be talked about because i think ebay needs to understand that did they test this theory what what was the testing what i mean because to, to play russian roulette on on your store and especially for those that i mean i'm 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 not even at a thousand listings yet for but those who have 4500 mm -hmm. or more well, pamela's got 1400 she's mm -hmm. gonna work through now Oh, see, look, that's just to me. That's a yeah. lot. Yeah. I mean, I, 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 I. I so I one say. of the things they they brought up again today, and we talked about this in our check, tech check, was they had mentioned the fact that some buyers, and I don't know what buyers what buyers they talk to, but some buyers get confused. Right. This is their words when they see the words sponsored ad, and then right below that see the same item for the same price, non sponsored. They get confused and they don't know what to do. So my thought was, and I said to you, is why don't they just get rid of the word sponsored ad for the buyer okay. to see? We promote the listing, but right. the buyer doesn't know it's a sponsored ad. So they, they're not confused. Because some buyers, like I honestly, if I see an ad pop up on my screen, I'm not really clicking on it to buy the thing because it's it's an ad. I don't know if it's, it's right. I don't know if there's spam on it, where it's redirected me to. I don't right. know. I never I want the I, item itself. Exactly. I never go through sponsored. So, I mean, but that's, of course, we're a reseller, so maybe we all know that, but yeah. I... Yeah, but just on any other site in general, that's what how I, that's how I am surprised, that's how I shop, because usually the, the ads show up in the corner, right. and stuff like that, I'm just like, right. I don't want to be bothered with that stuff, 
So I just want to find the item. I don't want that because it's going to take me somewhere I don't want to go. Right, right, now, I know right. an eBay page just takes you to the item. It's, uh, it's not going to take you to some third-party site like mm -hmm. you would on mm -hmm. Google search or something. But right. just remove that barrier of from the buyer of seeing that. We'll know right. the item is sponsored, but the buyer doesn't know it's sponsored. So it's an even right. playing field. They don't know if this item is or your right. item is or my and item I, is. Boom. It, and to be honest, Joey, you just hit it on the nail or on the nose. That's exactly what they're trying to do. They're trying to even the playing field. So right. I just don't understand why they just don't take off the sponsored. Like it would, and it would take care of the duplicate. Right. You know what I mean? Like, I don't know. I mean, I you know, look. I guess we can't always be a hundred percent happy no. with the changes, and you know, change is hard for anybody. This one took me a little by surprise, to be honest with you. I was yeah. a little like verklempt. Well, they're giving us a month before it goes live, before fourth quarter hits. So you have a month to revamp your listings, a month to test it out if you want, to see if you want to throw anything up unpromoted or not. Right. I, well, you have to do it now. Yeah. Start testing now because Q4 mm -hmm. is literally knocking on our back doors. So and it's I, like, And I bet you what will happen is that if they see a – this is start to taking outside the corporate box. If they see a decrease in usage right. or a decrease in the trending rate percentage that people use – or decrease in revenue from that program, they'll revisit this item. Well, and when you've got the person who was sitting there promoting and talking on stage about it, saying, I don't think I'm going to promote my items anymore, wow, I think you better yeah. take a look, eBay, because she's no longer going to promote that you should yeah. be promote. you should use promoted listings. It's, it was sort of like, wow, okay. Yeah, it the, kind of, the, I think. Just even bringing up the question for the fact that she, they even brought up that question, should I continue to use them? I'm, I'm concerned. Right. Was was enough for people to be like, oh, okay, well, uh, are we doing exactly. the right thing here? But, right. So yeah. I, I think it's going to be, it's one of those controversial moves, just mm -hmm. like they've done some other ones, and then they've flipped back. Remember when they did the whole sale thing? You know, you couldn't yeah. do that. Yeah, yeah. And then they changed back. So, you know, Joey's right. If the market, if they do the executive thing, which is they start seeing a flux in something, Nine out of ten times, they'll probably either switch it back or, or at least tweak it enough because they heard mm -hmm. us. So you capitalistic know. market talks. Exactly. So if, if you, as sellers, decide you don't want to use this product and you right. pro, quote unquote protest by not using the product, right. they will revisit the product. If we mm -hmm. continue to use the product like we're using it now, then we're just blowing a lot of hot smoke and hot air up people's butts, basically right. by talking about it because it doesn't, it won't change or nothing will happen. We'll just sit there and go with it because. Right. You know, people are still using it. So it's up to you. Again, run it into your numbers, run it into your right. business. If it works for you, use it. If it doesn't work for you, decide if you want to use it or not. That's right. just totally right. it. I mean, you know. So, you know, like, again, we're not here to bash anybody. No. Um, you know, change is, is, is bound to happen and the platform is changing daily. So I think I'm like with Pam and Joey. I think I'm just going to have to rethink some things and perhaps I'll do what, you know, Sunday Funday is going to do and actually test the market and see if she sees a f influx of sales or non-sales or if it stays steady. And if it stays steady, then you obviously already, you, you pass the test, right? Like you, you obviously know, well, I'm not going to promote, right? Right. But if you see a decrease, then, you know, wow, maybe I should put one or 2% on I mean, I don't know. Yeah, and that's the thing, too. When I go back and look at my promoted listing sales, yes. it's hard to know, like, oh, I sold 300 right. items this past year on promoted listings, but how many of them would, would have sold if I didn't have promoted listings because of the category and the item they Correct. were? Correct. Right, and that's the other thing, too. There's a lot of other uh, things happening, too, right? So the categories are changing. There's more drop-downs. There's more item specifics. There, mm -hmm. So I'm thinking... Yeah, I think with all of the changes that are happening, I, I really do think the best thing to do for any reseller is to test the market. Like you just, you're going to have to suck it up a little bit, Buttercup, and get in there and just revamp a little bit and just mm -hmm. test it. And maybe if you're like Pam, Pamela and I who promote our whole store, perhaps we take it off for a week and see yeah. before Q4 and then make the adjustment accordingly to before Q4 starts, like if we have, you know, a saturated market like golf shirts and things like that, perhaps that's where we do one to 2% while our collectibles and our vintage collectibles, you know, stay mm -hmm. not promoted. And the good thing is they, they allow you to easily do that bulk edit. You just go into your promotions tab and end the promotion that you're running. And then you can easily in your seller hub promote right from there now the individual items. So you don't right. have to actually do a lot of extra footwork we used to do in the past as far as editing these bulk things and everything. So it makes it a little bit easier if you want to yes. play around with some stuff. Totally. But 
Yeah. Hey, Nancy. Welcome. Thank you. Nancy, see you. Our yeah, yeah. Leader. Okay. So she's she's te well. She she is our meetup person in charge. She's yes. our fearless leader. So um, welcome, welcome. Yeah. So testing lower promotion rates across the various categories. Yeah. So she does a lot of collectibles too. So it'll be interesting to see yeah. what she comes up with. You know, we'll yeah. we'll have to talk about that more like uh, at at the eBay meetup because I'm sure. Mm -hmm. There's going to be some question, you know, some more feedback, which will be, you know, that'll be great. I, feedback is always good. Yeah. And then the last thing, which is, looks good for everybody, is yes. Terapeak. Terapeak yes. being now the research tab, as you can yes. see in your seller hub. It's Terapeak. You put the items in that you're looking for. You can go up from 7, 730, 90, and 365 days, I believe, are the options. Right. And you'll get an average price sold, how many total items sold, what's the total sales from those items. And the average shipping cost and then you can sort by date shipping items whatever for your items so you can see that there's a boston red sox item here different boston red sox shirt here another one here so you can get an idea of an average of 16 dollars of what boston red sox shirts are selling for uh, if you find your specific item or you have more item specifics you want to type into the title here to look specifically for yours right even better and it'll tell you if it was a fixed price a store an auction uh, if it was best offer or not, what the average sold price was, how many items sold. So you can get an idea of where to list your item at. And right. that's going to be free for basic premium anchor and enterprise stores. Um, right. Yeah, free. That's I, awesome. We're still I love waiting, it. Still waiting I mean, to I've, see if it's going to be on mobile yet, but not yet. Yeah, not yet, not yet. But I do have to say, I've never used Terapeak, so I've it's hmm. it's an interesting new tool. So yeah. I have to say, you know, I use it with, with other apps that I use to look things up. And mm -hmm. it's nice to see, you know, when I'm uh, sourcing, yeah. if things are, you know. Yeah. I used Terapeak a long time ago because they used to have the SEO keywords on the on, the, on their main oh, app before was eBay was bought. Right. So you can kind of get some ideas. And then I used right. Worth, WorthPoint a lot. Yeah. yeah WorthPoint yeah, yeah. will go back 10 years on their items. So if you have a lot of collectibles or one-offs that you don't really know, WorthPoint's a great tool right. to, to look into because you can go back 10 years. Right. But even Google's fine on a lot of stuff. You'll throw up things like... You know my glasses, those uh, Looney Tune glasses. Yes, I, yes. You know a lot of people weren't selling them on Worth, so I couldn't find them on WorthPoint. I couldn't find them on Therapy, but I found them on um, Replacements.com, mm. which is a site that people go to replace like their China patterns and stuff. So they yeah, were on yeah. there selling them. So I got an idea of what price range third party sites are selling them for, so I know what the price might not. But so. The point I'm trying to make is if you're unfamiliar with Terapeak or you're not sure how to use it, use it as one of your tools. Use Google, right. use other searches, and kind of compile a composite average of the sale prices on the board. Sellhound's a great tool for that too, uh, for clothing right. and for clothing and stuff. Because again, 164 marketplaces, it'll go through them all. It'll populate this, the average sale price for you know, new and used, what's Correct. sold, what's being currently listed. So you can idea. You, unless you have something that's so rare. And it's a one on one given to you by like the the maker. You should be right. able to find some information on your item out there somewhere. Right, right. So right, right, right. And so, all these yeah. tools are great to have. So I kind of think that the seller update was not too bad. I mean, like it, just a few little curveballs, but yeah. things that I think we can manage. And again, it's one of those things where they'll if they see that the sellers are yeah. You know, the markets, <laughs> if their promoted listings market starts going, boop, they'll yeah. have to revab it or refab it or mm -hmm. fab it. They could fabulize exactly. it too. <laughs> Fantabulous. <laughs> All right. Well, we're, so, we're eight over. So, like, yeah. I mean, we're, we're getting better at this, Joey. I'm thinking. We are. We are. There's so, today was one of those things. There's so much information to give out. Yeah, yeah. No, we didn't yeah, really yeah. want to skimp on too much. But yeah, so we're good. Right. Thanks Joey. for hanging with us, guys. It's awesome. Yeah, for sure. Joey, one more time. Show the yeah. water bottle. The one that uh, HTK won. Okay, the water bottle, the winner is in the chat. So she won. So you guys uh, be on the lookout at over on Instagram at eBay Water Bottle. Um, in a couple weeks, so we're going to have another giveaway. Um, start taking your photos. Start, you know, tagging. And I, they do a really good job on trying to, like, you know, add your photos to their to their Insta stories and stuff like that. So, so yeah. Are you gonna Are you gonna bubble wrap that? Or are you gonna Are you gonna put cardboard well, on it? It's gonna go in a Scotty box in here. But I'm, I'm, I think it might go in this pad of flat, right? Well, you could just do a do your thing, like you take a bath to it. Yeah. 
Well, we're gonna make sure it arrives safely. Well, with no dents, Joey. I know. He's gotta I'm start. The, the water bottle's gotta start its journey with no dents, my friend. Can't end up with a bruise. Right. But just on that note, yep. we're gonna wrap it up. We're gonna wrap it up. You guys wrap have been up. really great. Wrap it up, <laughs> Joey. Wrap it up. There you go. <laughs> uh, before we before we break into karaoke an hour or two here. I know. No kidding. <laughs> Ah. Uh, HCK, once again, congratulations. You're awesome. Yes, congratulations. Uh, thanks for sticking with us, guys. A um, bunch yeah. of people in the chat tonight, a bunch of people here. Um, spread it around. Um, tag our videos. Uh, throw them up to friends if you need, you know, if anybody's interested in yeah. watching. You know, people that haven't checked us out yet, um, tag us on their, their Instagram. We'll follow them. We'll follow back. Um, show, us, show them our channel. Like and subscribe the button. Click the notification bell. Make sure everything's good to go. And like I said, we're usually live on uh, Wednesdays, typically around right. four. Tonight was a little bit later. I had some stuff I had to do, so I couldn't get, get here at four. It but, happens. Yeah. So usually between four and six, we'll go live, and then we'll throw up a couple of videos during the week and uh, check our Insta stories and all the other stuff. And yeah, uh, you can follow us. Yeah. Uh, Joe's got the links all down below. You right, can find below. me over at Robin Yednakos on Instagram. You can find Joey over at Jr Financial. You can find us at Ecom One Hundred and One. We're everywhere. We are literally. Everywhere. <laughs> we are everywhere to serve. And I'm you. telling you what, if you guys start sharing us, we might actually start like we might have to do a giveaway just if you could just start promoting ecom. Well, like just start promoting stuff. Because we I think we have some more stuff, right, Joey? I have a bag here. Oh. Oh, oh, oh. It's I don't stuff. think it's filled with good stuff. It's filled with good stuff. It's filled with stuff, so stay so, yeah, tuned. So, we, so Joey and I have got some plans, but we would love it if you guys promoted us. Give us a thumbs up. Go to yep. over to eBay, uh, or eBay, excuse me. Go to Ecom 101 Podcast. Give us a little review. Let's mm -hmm. bump up our ratings on the podcast. And if you guys can't catch us live, we're always on video and we're on podcast. So yep. thanks again, you guys. Joey, what is it? What Class is it? It is dismissed. Woo -woo. Bye, guys. Have a great right, bye, Wednesday. Guys. See you later. Bye.